Hi everybody, today I have a MAC haul for you and I know not everybody likes these hauls but MAC is my favourite brand. I do however haul other things so please do stick with my channel but if you do want to see um, how some of these products look on the lips then please do watch and I know some people may be interested in seeing what the lip palette looks like because it's really very unusual. Um, this is quite a small collection. The Mia Moretti collection came out first and it was basically just a bunch of stuff that was already part of the MAC line and then they did a MAC Mia Moretti and it kind of blended the two together and then you got some more limited edition products which were new releases and I'm going to share three of those things with you today. So the first product I'm actually going to share with you is the lip palette. Now I'm going to show you the lip palette packaging because it's the largest piece of packaging um, just to kind of show you what it was like. It's got this lovely basket weave kind of pattern on it so it just looks like a wicker basket. It's almost like it's a, a beach bag because then you've got the red which is kind of the lining and then inside the packaging it's just red. So it's really a lovely packaging, very pretty. It's nice to see uh, like a limited edition out of packaging rather than just a standard black because when you get inside there is nothing unusual about the inside packaging. So it's not in any kind of limited edition packaging like we've had with Julie Petite and Bao Bao Wan. This is just a very plain sort of packaging. But it doesn't detract from the products themselves. Um, it hasn't sold out quickly, so I don't think a lot of people were really anticipating this one. I know a lot of people are waiting for the Mackie's Beauty Collection and possibly Philip Tracy. Um, but I was quite excited about what was in this collection because there were, you know, some pretty colours. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the lip palette. This one's called Who's the DJ? Now I'm a little bit of a lip palette collector. Um, these are the ones I own already. And I was looking at the Fall 15 trend one and it's just not for me I don't think. A couple of the colours are a little bit muddy and they kind of done the purple and the red thing which is something they've done over and over. The only thing that kind of bums me out is there's a colour in there called Ermine which is white which I really love to get my hands on. But never mind, um, I decided to go for this one instead. Now these retail for £35 and those are the colours. You get six colours and these are all amplified shades. So they're really opaque, but they're also really creamy. They're also really glossy. Um, the shades that you do get in here are Desert Sun, Weekend One, She's a Peach, Weekend Two. I think that is Umbrella Days. Let me just check. Oh no, Umbrella Sky and Vintage Radio. And I'll swatch those for you now on my hand, but I'm also going to insert a little video clip here of me trying these shades on for you. Now I did try them on with my current makeup look and they don't go with my current makeup look at all in the slightest because I have quite smoky colourful eyes on and I think these are more for your spring summer looks where the eyes are a little bit more pulled back and you know you want to go for a bit more fun on the lips. But those are the swatches. The nude one is super pretty so it's um sorry for my nails. So you've got Desert Sun Weekend One, She's a Peach, Weekend Two, Umbrella Sky and Vintage Radio. And as you can see they are very, very pigmented colours. So if you want to see what these look like on my lips with my sort of NC15 skin, I'm very pale, then please do keep on watching. Again, please don't let the eyes lip combo put you off because I know they don't match. But that clip is coming up now. Okay, these are all amplified which is amazing to me. I think that's really great. I love the quality of the lips sticks in the lip palette. You're probably thinking, Lisa, I still can't see that colour. It's a very concealer type colour. <laughs> it's not for everybody. It's a great base colour though. And these are quite glossy. But let's remove that and go on to the pink. So the pink in this palette is actually called Weekend One. It's a very nice bubblegum sort of pink. I feel like my lips look huge. <laughs> this on. It's very pretty actually though. It's a very soft pastel pink. It's not the kind of lipstick I'd wear with this eye colour so please don't let that distract you from the lipstick. The colour of the lipstick is very nice. So I'm going to go for She's a Peach. This looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is such a pretty peach. Mm. 
I love this colour. Like I said, these pastels so do not go with these eyes, but... Beautiful peach. Beautiful. Gonna remove that and move on to weekend two, which is the lavender shade. Yay! So weekend two is this beautiful lavender colour. Lavender lilac. I think it's more... I don't know, I guess I'd say that's more lilac because lavender to me is more blue based and that is not. It looks a bit warmer. But I'm excited to try this one on. So we will pop this one on. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know, it is lavender on. If this is going around my lips now, please excuse that because this is basically lipstick number four. And again, no, these lips do not go with my eyes. I'll be rocking these colours in the spring summer with a different eye colour. Mm. You can totally see the blue in this. It's definitely lavender. You can see the blue bits once it's on your lips. It is so pretty. I have nothing like this. I love it. Very excited. Now we're going to move up the crazy colours. All this wiping and drying and reapplying. Not good for your lips. So let's go for Umbrella Sky, which is the blue colour. This is going to be interesting. This is a really pretty colour though. It's like a really nice aqua. It's kind of like High Def Scion, but super pastel. I think these would be nice mixing colours though. They're so creamy. They feel really moisturising. Okay. <laughs> So Vintage Radio, and I think this is described as a sea foam green, that one even. <sighs> it's very pretty. See they're really quite pigmented as well. Excuse my nail polish, totally forgot to remove it before coming on camera. This is not as opaque as the other colours, I will say. It's a very pretty colour. These do tend to settle into the lines on your lips a little bit though. Interesting. Nice colour though. Again, possibly another great mixing colour. But a very interesting palette. I mean, I would be interested in the top four shades anyway if they released them as lipsticks. So to me, 35 for a palette like this is worth it. So yeah, it's definitely something very, very different. So the next item I'm going to show you from the collection, and I can't remember the price of this one, is the Casual Colour. Um, again, nice packaging on this one. And I'm kind of disappointed with that as this item, but for a strange reason, not for a reason that you would think. I love casual colours and I have quite a few in my collection now and I will always purchase them. The thing that I find puts me off with this one is because they've changed the packaging on them and I absolutely love the old style packaging. But they've done it in this packaging and you basically get 2.5 mils in this packaging and they're charging the same price as they would when they were in the other packaging which I'm going to show you in a second and the other packaging is 13 mils. So you were getting 10.5 mils less in this for the same price so I'm not impressed with that for a start I think that you know if you're gonna repackage it in something like this then the price point needs to reflect that and be lower um, but I love the color so I couldn't resist it and I do have it on today it's so pretty it's the most beautiful color I just like I said I just couldn't resist it but I'm going to show you the other two bright pinks that I have and these are from previous collections so I have got for your amusement and the comparison as you can see there is no comparison it's a very light bright sort of pink and this is the old style packaging 
So it comes in this like little jar, much like the lip erase, and that little jar is crammed full and then instead of that you've got this. I just don't understand it. I don't like it at all. Um, the promo photos that they did actually release first off, they had them in jars so I don't understand why they've decided to then put them in this packaging because I don't know. <laughs> It's a bit of a disappointment that they're in this packaging, but like I said, I love the colour, so I just, I wasn't going to skip this one just because of those issues. And then the next colour I'm going to show you is called Young at Heart. And this one is a true bright candy pink, and as you can see, they are very different. This is described as a carnation pink, and it's kind of a peachy sort of pink. It's really, really pretty, and they are very pigmented. You can use them on lips and cheeks, and... That is the swatch. So they're super pigmented. I mean, that's going to look so pretty on the lips, I think. It's a really, really beautiful colour. So I'm really glad that I got it. I just kind of wish it had been in the old style packaging. The last item I got from the collection was the lipstick. This is called Maria Moretti. Comes in standard packaging and it's an amplified cream. I don't think I own any other amplified creams and it's so glossy and so moisturising. I'm wearing it now. Mm. I like it with this eye look because I quite like a dramatic sort of eye and then a red lip. Oh, that's just me. <laughs> but this is the colour. I hope it's not messy because literally this is like the seventh lipstick I've put on. And you know when you kind of put lipstick on, take it off, put it on, put it, take it off, you get like a little bit sore. Um, but this is just, this is perfect. This is the red that I've been looking for. Let me just tell you that. I've been looking for the perfect red. This is kind of like a Marilyn Monroe red. It just screams Marilyn Monroe to me. And it's just, it's called, it's described as a cherry red on the website. And it's just, how this hasn't sold out is just beyond me. And it's absolutely stunning. It's kind of like, I can't describe it. <laughs> it is Marilyn Monroe red. I have nothing like this in my collection. I think some people have said it's quite similar to Russian Red um, but just you know obviously it's not a matte. So I'll do a swatch. Really really stunning colour. Oops. Just beautiful. Look at the gloss on the end there from using it. <gasps> this has got to be one of my favourite lipsticks recently from MAC. Really love it. It's very bombshell kind of red. It's kind of like a bright red with like a dark base if that makes sense and it's definitely cherry red definitely describes it for me because it's very cherry red and I'm waffling now so I'm gonna leave you there but hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe as always and I've been Spacey's Number One Girl and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!